in the upcoming days or maybe weeks, I want to accomplish two things. Finish Camera Girl's Street Legal KX100. There it is. And take my family on vacation. Since we sold our house five months ago and downsized to the trailer, we've been parked at family members' property. There are some drawbacks to living in a trailer, but a benefit is it has wheels. Yep. And we're going to take advantage of that. We'll bring the KX100 along with us, and as we travel throughout the country, seeing new and exciting things, we'll complete the final steps on your motorcycle. Yay! I want to leave tomorrow morning, but before we do, we need to turn this piece of L aluminum. It's aluminum shaped as an L. I'm not trying to speak Spanish. <laughs> need to turn this into a license plate bracket. The reason that I want to do it right now is because this requires power tools, a vise, and neighbors who don't mind the sounds of drilling, cutting, and banging. After today, we won't have any of those things. What's the chances I'm going to get this right? Oh, hi. Like 12%. <laughs> I like those odds. <laughs> Let me get the, the metal off your eyebrow. The sparkle of metal shavings surrounds you. Oh, yeah? You're shiny. Thank you. You're welcome. The process for creating this part is I need to make the necessary cuts without accidentally removing the portions of metal I meant to keep. Sometimes it's easy to confuse the yin with the yang. That should work. Next I'll bend two small tabs down to 90 degrees with the old hammer and block method. When I was using that jigsaw, I accidentally went in too far, made a couple ugly gouges. They're only cosmetic though, and I need to tell myself it's just a license plate bracket. Oh yeah. Run it. Now, I'll drill. <gasps> we'll call that a sacrifice to the gods. I need four holes so I can mount the bracket to the motorcycle and the license plate to the bracket. All right, this is just about ready for a test fit. I'll smooth over these sharp edges with the file and then meet you back over at the motorcycle. It's getting late. Hey, Marvel. See what my friend's doing out here. Still alive? Yeah. I got the license plate bracket done. In fact, I made another one because I didn't like these grooves I cut into here. <laughs> I knew that'd bother you. Even though this is going to be covered up by the license plate, it's still sloppy work. Second one came out much better. See how smooth that is? Nice. I was careful coming around this corner. The way this is going to work is the bracket fits against the mud guard and then bolts on to the back of the air box. Putting the license plate right here underneath the fender may or may not be in agreement with California Vehicle Code, which says license plate must be clearly legible. That kind of language is subject to interpretation. Unfortunately, it's usually the policeman's interpretation. That's how they get you. Camera girl, you have a license plate bracket. Close your eyes for just a minute. Okay. And license plate. Wow! <laughs> That's me. I have the 2023 sticker, just haven't put it on here yet. This is where we'll stop for tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to spend most of the day driving, aren't we? Yes. By we, I mean you. I'll try to get some KX100 work in there, too. While you're driving? <laughs> what? Well, after we stop. Oh. I don't know how this video is even going to work, but we'll find out. Happy chaos.
happy trails! Day two, we just arrived at our first campsite. This is the Colonel Allensworth State Historic Park in Early Mart, California. I don't know if I'm saying that right. We got here before dark, which is nice. Yeah, the sky is clear. Look up at the moon. So come around back here. Let's open up the garage and see if there's any devastation. The smart person would probably check their load part way. So you know that I did. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Looks pretty good. Motorcycle's still there. We will do a little bit of work on the KX100, but not much because I'm tired and we don't want to deplete our battery power. This is dry camping. $20 a night, but no electricity, no water, and no wastewater services. Everything that's needed to complete the KX100 is in this box. Here's that license plate bracket we made yesterday and didn't use. Try to find something to put on. I know what we can do. It'll be a letdown. How about we attach the kill switch <laughs> to the handlebar? Okay. <laughs> and I've got the clamp in this bag. This is something you could do if you wanted to. Oh, that's nice. Would you like to try? No. All we need for this is Phillips screwdriver. Do you think we should stay here just one night or two nights? I don't know. When we travel, we don't plan ahead. Sometimes that backfires. Like when we show up to the RV park and they're full. I know which one you're thinking about. We thought for sure there'd be a place there, but we arrived right in the middle of the Cowboy Poetry Festival. Yeah, in Texas. What city was that? Alpine, Texas. Last year, we pulled into the campground, trailer park. They were completely booked, and the ladies at the counter couldn't understand that we didn't know that that weekend was the Cowboy Poetry Festival. We attended for half the day on Sunday. It was quite nice. They put on a good show. The kill switch is fastened to the handlebar. That counts as working on the motorcycle. You want to do anything else? I want to go eat. Okay. Oh, hey. Good morning. Good morning from Allensworth State Park. Instead of staying here another night, we've decided to leave today and go a little bit further south. It's a little bit after 11 o'clock right now. Checkout time is noon, so we need to leave pretty shortly. But I think we should knock off something on the motorcycle just in case things get hectic today and we don't film again until tomorrow. In this little baggie that I pulled the kill switch clamp out of last night, there are also seat and rear fender bolts. The fender is already on the motorcycle, but the seat's not. So how about we put the seat on? Yes! Should only take a couple minutes. Two bolts worth of work. You haven't seen this in a while. Ready? For the unveiling. I forgot what color it was. <laughs> forgot all about it, didn't I you? I thought it was solid black. Now my electrical components were designed so that the seat would be able to go on here without interfering with them. Well, design isn't always reality. <laughs> and I'm running into a little bit of an issue. If you come over here, the back side of the seat Ooh, is, crunch. is squishing the wires that go to the tail light. And I didn't leave enough slack there when I did my wiring to move them out of the way. <gasps> you can't put the seat on. Oh, can't I? I think I said that knowing it would make you find a way around it. <laughs> the way around it is... The underside? The underside. Can... The upside down. The nether? 
well, this plug doesn't fit underneath there. So I'll have to chop up the air box a little bit to make enough room for it. All right, almost done now. Just need to fold this plastic down and finish cutting it out. Watch your finger. It's hard to get the knife down in here to cut. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. This day could have been so much worse. <laughs> I better use something other than my little fingies to hold this down. There we go. Not the prettiest thing, but that's what I've got you for. I don't know if this plug will fit in there. No. I better notch it out a little bit more. I think I removed enough plastic to wedge the plug through there. How are we doing on time? We have to leave within 15 minutes. Perfect. I think we'll make it. So there is the tail light connection. Now we just need to reroute the left turn signal. This looks better anyway. Yeah. Now we can put the seat back on. How's it looking over here with looks, those wires? It's okay. It'd be better for them to go on the inside of the bracket, mm. I think. I agree. Like that? Yeah. Now we just need to put in the two bolts and it'll be done. That background noise is trains. They have trains here. There it is. It's coming together. Yee! Now let's get hooked up. Head on down the road. What time is it? Uh, it's six after. Hopefully they're not too strict. <laughs> Okay. This is Camera Girl's first time driving the trailer. It likes the inside corners, it doesn't does. it? It does. You can barely feel it though. It's, it's a little scary. I could just be driving and forget that I'm telling 37 feet behind me. Let's see if I can take this corner without going off. All right. I should be able to. There's a lot of space here. Get the mirror here. See if you cut it. Oh, you got it. Yeah, that's Room to spare. Fine. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Yesterday we drove 50 miles mm -hmm. to Bear Mountain RV Park in Bakersfield. We didn't get very far, but this place was reasonably priced and mm -hmm. has full hookups. Yes. So we could have a shower, recharge, discharge. The weather's great. Yeah, it's almost 70. It's been a while since I've worn short sleeves. Still not warm enough for camera girl. No, I, I run cold. Bakersfield produces oil, oranges. Merle Haggard. <laughs> Merle Haggard. And by the smell of it last night, I think the cows are in season. So we're back at our campsite now. We'll step inside and give the KX100 some attention. Oh, it's hot in here. I there's, reached my limits. There's your limit. <laughs> Gotta be about 80. <laughs> Let's put these side covers on. They ought to be pretty simple. You've said that before. I've said that before and it hasn't been. The seat was supposed to be a five minute job, but it took half an hour. I'm removing this seat bolt because it's also a side panel bolt. Okay, now this should fit right here. And it doesn't. So this might be a repeat of yesterday. Some plastic trimming is necessary. See how this side cover can't nestle in where it's supposed to on top of the bracket? Yeah. So I'll notch it out a little bit, carefully. I won't disrespect the universe for giving me that free pass yesterday. 
We could have gone to the hospital. Well, don't let me stop you. If you want to go to the hospital, go right ahead. <laughs> okay, let's see if we got it first try. I think my chances were better than 12% on this one. Oh yeah, you got it. I can tell. The width is right, but see how there's still space up here? Yes. Need to go a little bit deeper. Fluffing plastic. It's fantastic. Okay. Try again. This will work. Yeah, perfect. So now we'll just put the bolts in here. This is coming together fast. Ooh, another problem. Ooh. <laughs> I spoke too soon. We've got interference with the brake light switch that I installed on the master cylinder. I wonder if I can wedge it in there. It's pretty tight. Doesn't look good for that black rubbery thing. Yeah. You don't want to wear a hole through your protection. I decided to cut a little relief out for it. See how that works? Oh yeah. So now we can put this back on. I'm not a cruel person. How would you like to have your head pushed in from downward pressure for all eternity? Sounds like having a job. <laughs> okay, now I'll do the same thing on the other side, but I won't show it since you guys know the process. I got the left side installed, just had to make a little room for the turn signal bracket. You've got side covers. I'm so glad my sides are covered. I was feeling awful exposed there. I'll spend the rest of today editing some of the footage we've already got and maybe figure out where we're going to spend tomorrow night. Sounds good. I just hope it went down easy. Jacob's having a great day. <laughs> I am having a great day because we made it from Bakersfield to Lake Elsinore safely. But I need to revise my tie down method. He gave my motorcycle a little curl. Now your clutch lever has a custom bend. I bet a lot of people are familiar with that shape. I am. That's the po' boy special. <laughs> what happened is when we were driving the front wheel worked its way to the side until gravity over here overcame available traction. Classic slip and fall. It doesn't seem fair that we're crashing the motorcycle but can't even ride it yet. My favorite kind of crash is when I'm not on it. I conjured a way to keep the motorcycle from falling over again. I strapped the bottom of the front wheel on each side so it can't move. And I think it's impossible now for the motorcycle to fall over, as long as the straps don't fail. We're going to put on new front and rear sprockets today. The main reason I want to do this is because I discovered they make an awesome green rear sprocket for the KX100. And it's also to change the gearing. I'd like the motorcycle to cruise comfortably at 45 miles per hour, but the way it's set up from the factory at 45 miles per hour in sixth gear, the engine's turning 8,500 RPM, which is screaming. That's too high for continuous riding. So to slow it down, I'm adding two teeth to the front sprocket and taking away two teeth in the rear. Oh, that looks nice. I'll get this mounted to the hub and then put the wheel back on the motorcycle. Should be done as soon as you swoop the camera over there. Oh. What do you think of the green sprocket? Nice. I think it adds major personality. Back up a little bit. Chef's kiss? We're getting ready to pull out of Lake Elsinore, Launch Point RV Park. What did you think of this place? It was nice. I liked it. 
They keep it tidy. Yeah, it's clean. Got a lot of rules. Yeah, they want you to wear a wristband for your entire stay. I don't like cages, so I didn't wear it. You wore it more than me. I did wear it to the laundry room, right. I wore mine not at all. The trash cans are frustrating too. Have a look at the trash can there. Yep. You can barely fit an envelope in those things. Today, we're going southeast, maybe 60, 70 miles. No, you're wrong. <laughs> what is it? It's over 100. That's about 60 or 70. Okay. And we plan to spend the night near Joshua Tree National Park at a free campsite. They say the sunsets here are really beautiful. What, did you lose interest in me? You told me to show them the landscape. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> we made it to our next camping spot and I decided to do something that may or may not be a good idea. Yeah, I blinked and he's fiddling with his transmission. I noticed yesterday that my truck wasn't shifting correctly from second to third gear. It's still drivable, but I could tell something wasn't right. After doing some research on the internet, I discovered that usually when a truck exhibits the symptoms that this one has, the governor solenoid and the governor pressure sensor are faulty. So that's what I'm replacing. This is risky because before I dropped the pan and started messing around with the transmission. The truck was drivable. After I'm through here, it may not be. Okay, I'm almost done with my repair. I've replaced the governor solenoid and pressure sensor. Now I just need to put the pan back on. I'm reusing some of the old fluid, so I'm trying not to get any sand in it. <laughs> Couldn't you just buy more transmission fluid? Probably. <laughs> I just, oh, whoa. Oh! I bought five quarts. How much oh. does a transmission hold? I don't know. I really don't know. If only there was a manual or some way to find that out. <laughs> Electronic data source. When you Look, were doing your it's research. Up there. Look, it's up yeah, there. when you were doing your research on transmissions, if only they had mentioned that too. I felt like if I was going to do this repair, I had to do it out here boondocking because at the Country Squire <laughs> Mobile <laughs> RV Resort and Spa, I don't think they'd want me to be doing this. Your face is so red. Are you having a heart attack? <laughs> I'll know in a minute. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get this bolt started. Look at my right hand. Every ounce of concentration. I'm trying to tighten this bolt. Can I help? I don't know. Almost, oh. almost. Well, then I'll just criticize you. You're sure taking your sweet time. <laughs> World's longest bolt. There. Okay, one, and if I can get this one, in there. We'll have the finish line in sight. There, okay. Whew. Now I just need to put the rest of the bolts around the perimeter and I'll be done. You ready? Oh yeah. Got the transmission put back together. Topped it off with fluid. We had enough. Took it for a drive and it shifts great but I'm not sure that the problem is solved because it was intermittent. I noticed two days in a row, the truck didn't want to shift from second to third gear. I had to really fiddle with the lever and coax it. So I thought there was definitely a problem. But once I started diagnosing, investigating, and buying parts, the issue disappeared. Shifted fine. Transmissions are crafty like that. We're headed out from our campsite right now. We're on a really washboarded out gravel road, but once we get out to the pavement, I'll run it through the gears 
and show you guys how it performs. Okay, here we are. I'll move to a complete stop and accelerate. Move over here to the gauges so they can see what happens. First gear, second gear. Ooh, third gear. <laughs> That's not what it's supposed to do. Did you see how it hung there? Didn't want to shift? Maybe it's still in the learning stages. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those computers that has to recalibrate. Yeah. Should fix itself, right? Right. I won't think about the transmission for now because I don't want to get on my back in the sand anymore and it doesn't do any good. Anyway, we are going to check out the site of a former World War II military camp called Camp Young. We'll walk around there, see if there's anything interesting, and then meet you guys back at the KX100. This is a KX100 video. Allegedly. Yeah. So we made it out here to the Camp Young entrance. And it's closed. <laughs> you know what's not closed though? Jenny's garage. Open for business. I think we should install the mirrors. We have enough time before it gets dark. We're running low on battery provisions, so I'm not going to turn on the lights. This box of things to do is getting emptier and emptier. Here's the mirror mounting hardware. And the mirrors are in this box. Genuine Kawasaki mirrors, but these are just commodity mirror mounts. They cost about $7.99 for the pair. They're made to clamp on to the handlebar. See how that works? But I think I can replace the front half of this existing clamp with the mirror holder. That'd be handy. Keep things simple that way. I already checked to make sure the two pieces fit together, but I don't know if the new assembly will clamp around the handlebar tightly enough. Feels good. Now we'll do the other side. We decided those signs that said closed were only applicable to vehicles. So we took a walk through old Camp Young. There wasn't much of it left though. A little bit of rubble, a huge pile of bottle caps. And here's the best part. Look what we found. This is the most interesting thing in the whole army base. General Tortoise. Did you drink all that beer? All right, the mirror mounts are done. Now I can install the mirrors. And when we put these on here, it's going to instantly give your motorcycle a new attitude of compliance. Ew. So right mirror, kind of wish it was more forward. It's not that kind of mirror. And the other side, the motorcycle has mirrors. Yeah, it does. So you can responsibly and safely look behind you. Meerkat? Meerkat? It's time to go. Okay. Next stop, Arizona. We're in Tucson now. It's been about 350 miles since you guys have seen us. Transmission's still working, so I feel lucky about that. Our plan was to stay here for a week so I could get caught up editing this video. Camera Girl could do some school with our son and we could check out some local attractions. But just as we rolled into town, we all got sick. And that was about two weeks ago. But today, we feel better. I feel like I can function. Do you feel like you can function? I 
it may have a coughing fit at any moment. Camera girl hurt her rib yesterday. Got a severe rib injury from vigorous coughing. Is that a smile or a grimace of pain? It's a smile. We're headed up to the Kawasaki dealership to get you a new clutch lever. Normally, I would just order the part, but since we don't have a mailbox, we get to do it the old-fashioned way. Got my clutch lever here at Arizona Kawasaki KTM and Triumph. And you know what? They don't just sell clutch levers. They sell motorcycles too. I know, look at this one over here. You like that one? I kind of like that one. Well, steer over about to right here. Oh. <laughs> this is a 300cc two-stroke KTM XCW expensive edition. Can you imagine if we did to this machine what we're doing to the KX100? Street legal? I think that'd put a smile on your face. It already is, just thinking about it. Well, pick one up. Get two if you want. We'll get yours done first and then we'll see what the next project is. The new clutch lever is installed. It's not going to be very long until the next project. Because today, we're finishing this one. What? Today. There's only three things left to do. We'll put on the two radiator shrouds. This should go quickly with both of us working on it. Going to that motorcycle shop made me want a new motorcycle. I think everything makes you want a new motorcycle. <laughs> Just the nature of my personality. You see me trotting around in a mini skirt, you want a new motorcycle. <laughs> You sneeze and you want a motorcycle. Okay, okay. How you doing over there on your side? I'm gonna finish before you. Catch up. And the radiator shrouds are both installed. There's one thing remaining in the KX100 box. Ooh. Kickstand. Let's see if we can put this on. See if I can get it open first. Okay, so I think it goes on this side. May have to look at the instructions. Oh no, no I don't. I see how it works. The top of the bracket clamps onto the frame and this bottom mount takes Whoa. it. <laughs> takes advantage of the chain roller bolt. So I'll take this out and then we'll see if it fits together like I suspect. Looks right to me. I have no complaints about this. <laughs> I do about other things. I was getting excited. <laughs> We're not in Arizona anymore. Yeah, we came back home for Easter. How's your rib feeling today? Improved. I was thinking when I'm done with this, you can coast down out of the trailer so we can get some nice video of the completed project. Yeah. It'll be funny if I fall over. Will you do it though? Fall over? Sure. <laughs> no. Roll it down into the daylight for a grand reveal. I'll try. Okay. The kickstand is installed. Lean it over this way. Let's check out the stance. I like it. What do you think? I like it too. After four years, Camera Girl's Street Legal KX100 is finished. In the next video, she'll take it for a ride under power. Are you excited to ride it or are you scared? Or both? I think both, but I think I'm more excited. How about I just, let's just see. Just start it up. Let's just see. See if it runs. Oh. oh. Is it choked? Yeah. Hold it wide open, maybe you flooded it. Wide open. That's it. <laughs> Take 
tempted? Are you tempted? Tempted? Oh, oh. Well, this is a good sign that she likes it. Had to have a little taste. First ride on the KX100 has been moved up to right now. Probably a good thing. It would be cruel to make you guys wait until I put up another video to see it in action. Even if it is just for a minute. I wasn't expecting that. Well. So now, after riding it a few feet, are you ready for more? Yeah, let's go on a ride. Next video, we'll do an extended first ride. As soon as that video exists, I'll put a link to it up on the screen. I'll put a playlist of this entire project up there too, if you're interested. Thanks for watching. The temptation was too great.